I had a little bit of time this afternoon to go ahead and take a look at the uh, B plus power supply. And the B plus supply uses a uh, 20 and 12 microfarad capacitor there in that can that I'm showing. So uh, I know I need to get that out. So um, here are the lead wires. And I just took some time here to get those uh, desoldered and do a little testing here as well on the capacitor just to see what the condition was looking at the capacitance itself as well as uh, looking for uh, leakage here one of the two capacitor values tested pretty close uh, it was closer to the 20 microfarad the other one was way off and then when doing some leakage tests, these things started to break down around 150 volts or so. So there's no way I would trust them long term, even though I did bring the radio up um, briefly just to do some testing there. But uh, you can see the results. Every time I get around 200 volts, they break down. Now here's another little thing. I'm removing these rivets and I'm using this tool from uh, Spring Tools. This thing really works great. I've used it before where I could not get a drill in to remove rivets and uh, this thing is uh, works like a champ. Really really sharp chisel. It's spring loaded. Uh, you just hold it, pull it back a couple inches and uh, it just takes the heads right off of the rivets and uh, really really clean. With those rivets removed and those uh, that cover now you can see I've got direct access here to the capacitor and the material that holds it in. So I just put on some protective gloves, pulled out my little mini butane torch instead of my heat gun, heated up the uh, outside there of the can, and just started tugging on the wires. And you can see the, uh, the old capacitor came right out of the can, really with no issues. So um, here's just a couple different angles of the uh, old capacitor that came out of the can. Quite interesting. I don't think I've ever uh, done a restore that had one like this. And uh, I just threw on my uh, Echo Grips uh, used for barbecuing. I think it'll protect your uh, hands up to about 400 degrees or more. So they came in real handy as well. Next, I took a little acetone. Just cleaned up the can a little bit better down there around the base itself and inside. And I was very cautious and careful not to remove the original uh, markings here on the outside of the can. Just used a Lysol wipe in that area. And you guys have seen me dress up capacitors before. I just stuffed it with a brand new 450 volt, 20 microfarad, and 15 microfarad capacitor. So here's a quick look on the scope of the uh, AC ripple itself. Again, I'm just taking the AC volts divided by the DC voltage times 100. And uh, that gives me about 0.8% uh, ripple. Again, probably uh, not a scientific measurement, but uh, close enough. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching this video. I've got a lot of work still to do. A lot of de-rusting on the chassis itself. Still got to go through and get all the paper caps out, check all the uh, resistors, and uh, everything out of tolerance uh, gets replaced over time. So again, thanks for viewing. Appreciate my new subscribers.